What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a brand new episode of the FC25 Liverpool Career Mode Show and as you can see Darwin Nunez got the man of the match award in the previous game we came from 2-1 down to beat Bournemouth and now we have a League Cup game against Sheffield United where we will try out a lot of the fringe players but first I need your help guys if you want to see a double upload on the weekend make sure to get this video to 100 likes and I will try to record a double double upload for the weekend so let's change Farkash's position to a cam and he is now a 64 rated player instead of a, like a 60 rated player so I think that's a really really good change and I will train him to be an advanced playmaker and a shadow striker because we want to have him playing in multiple different roles and Chef United have a three and a half star, half star team so I think we should be able to beat them and I'm not sure if they are rotating too much or not and this is the first time that I'm trying out uh, Tyler Morton, Trey Mione as starters and Harvey Elliott gets a run out Kwanzaa starts, uh, Tsimikas, Kelleher gets his first game of the season but we should still be able to beat Sheffield United even with the heavily rotated team let's go this is the kind of occasion we all relish as football fans non-stop hype all week long Bremerley looks fantastic and I just checked in the championship 18 teams have their real stadiums in the game out of 24 so hats off to EA credit where it's due they added a lot of stadiums to the championship teams and now I think I will do a road to glory career mode with an English team so let me know in the comments below do you want to see Portsmouth Wrexham my favorite team Swansea what kind of road to glory career mode team do you want to see let me know in the comments below and a mobile center forward. It's a good Kiesa. And Connor Bradley. Oh, what a chance. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think? Trainee only. Oh, my God. I cannot, absolutely cannot believe it. Trainee only, who just turned 17 years old. And he scores an even better goal than the Salah one against Man United or the Gakpo goal against Bologna. Those two were absolute beauties, but this one is honestly takes the cake. In off the post, into the top corner, an absolute perfect goal. I will play him a lot more after this because he deserves it. What a finish, what a goal, what a way to introduce yourself into this career mode. Are we idiot? Kiesa! Kiesa! Ooh, good, good shot. Let's bend one in. Come on, Kiesa, with the outside of your foot. Ah, oh, the straight at the keeper. Oh, O'Hare, I put him on the pressure and he misses it. Oh boy, O'Hare is running down the wing. I have to close him down. Gomez, great tackle. And Harvey Elliott is away. And I see Jota. And Trenioni again. Oh, unlucky. Let's try out Jaden Dance up front. And I also bring on McConnell, Curtis Jones. Van Dijk is coming on. Luis Diaz as well. I love this. The high promotion replay of the substitutions looks really, really nice. Jaden Dance. Oh, what a ball! And Diaz's shot is saved on the volley! Go on, Bradley. Corner Bradley. But he faint. But his shot is blocked. What a star! Today we have see, witnessed Trainee only. he officially announces himself to the Liverpool fans, to you guys, as a big, big future prospect of this career mode. And what a way to win this game. I absolutely will watch this goal on replay because you cannot get tired of it, honestly. It's absolutely amazing. Let's see this high promotion replay. I, I'm sure that this, this will look fantastic from all angles. The 360 
replay angle, oh, that is spectacular. Zero XG, 110 kilometers per hour. He has 47 long shots. How on earth could I score a goal like this with him? I'm not even sure. I just hit it with perfect power. And we bossed the game, we bossed possession. Trainioni was the man of the match. He's giving an interview and I'm sure that uh, he will score many, many more goals when he reaches his full potential. We had five shots on target. So we really should have scored more goals, but Trainioni, 63 rated only, was the man of the match. Absolutely brilliant display. And we kept yet another clean sheet. So Man United are out of the League Cup, which is always great news. Chelsea went through, Tottenham went through as well, Newcastle, Fulham, Man City got through comfortably Aston Villa and Arsenal and we get Aston Villa at Anfield so I think that's a tough but winnable fixture and Man City will play Arsenal so one other big team will be out so we just need to keep progressing in the League Cup and hopefully we can get to the final and win a trophy and Wolves are in the relegation zone they only have one win in their last five games uh, so they will be out for blood Wolves is a tough opponent as you can see they have a a pretty solid side with 78 79 rated players all across the pitch and this is the last game that Trent Alexander is suspended for after his straight red card against Nottingham Forest otherwise this is my strongest available lineup of course Soboslai is missing with an injury so let's try and win this a game of colossal importance and a stadium packed to the rafters we can't ask for any more this is football out of the very top draw we'll have all the action for you live here on ea tv and the Wolves stadium looks spectacular and i love it that the pre-match intros are back the layout everything looks really really nice really fresh McAllister. And Gakpo, what a save by the keeper! Oh, Lamina! Ooh! McAllister. Go on, Bradley. And Gakpo, please! Terrible header. At least we got a corner out of it. Robertson with a corner and Nunez! Oh my goodness, what a save! Unbelievable corner! Lamina. Lamina. Are you serious? Strand Larson just turns! He didn't do anything, just turn and then he was clean through on goal. And after all our missed chances, Wolves of course score and that's what you get in the Premier League if you don't take your chances. I mean look at the gap between Konate and Van Dijk. They are not marking the only striker that Wolves have. Unbelievable. Alright, McAllister, I want you to cross the ball. And that's a brilliant cross! Luis Diaz, how do you miss that? That was a fantastic free kick. McAllister. Diaz. That's a nice forward thinking pass. Salah! Salah's shot is blocked. I'm doing everything but scoring here. Salah, please! Oh my goodness, that save, that save was amazing. That's a goal. Oh, I knew it. Wolves win it. It's 2-0. And they just had two shots. But it was about the finishing today. I just couldn't get past the Wolves goalkeeper and that's a banger. And this is our first defeat of the league season and it's a really painful one. Wolves uh, gave us a lesson on how to finish your chances. Of course under a new manager you expect uh, some uh, cracks to show and this exactly was it. Our first defeat. But honestly I think I should have won this game. I had 8 shots, 1.6 xg, just the Wolves keeper saved everything because we dominated the whole game. Wolves just had two counter-attacks and they scored two goals, ruthless finishing, they, they had two shots on target, 
But we had four of our eight shots blocked, which is really, really annoying and really frustrating. And the Wolves keeper, I think, should be the man of the match. Uh, but I think it was, it wasn't a Strand Larsen, the striker of Wolves, even though he scored two goals. He wasn't the man of the match. After winning the first three games and drawing the next two, I mean, we had a good start, but then we lost to Wolves and uh, scoring only six goals in six games is really worrying. But at least Man United and Tottenham played out a near near draw but Chelsea won and Man City won so, and Ipswich are now in the relegation zone after Wolves with, our, with their first win beating us climbed out of it and now Evan Nielsen is catching up to Andreas Pereira in the top scorers chart and Salah scored four of our six goals the problem is nobody else from our team is scoring regularly in the Premier League and that's very concerning to be honest so we really need to start scoring more goals and we kept three clean sheets in in six games which is pretty decent and we can change Alfie Parr's position from a CM to a CAM and let's see if his rating improves uh, no not really but he's still a pretty decent player and we need to improve his finishing so let's train him to be a shadow striker uh, player role and Bayern Munich have Kim Min Jae suspended after getting a red, a red card in match, on match day one so at least in the back hopefully Bayern will be weaker and Bayern Munich still have an amazing team with amazing players so this will be our biggest test of the season and Van Dijk is his fitness is not that great anymore so he needs to be rotated uh, because he's on half fitness so Gomez comes into his place and Endo gets a start because Curtis Jones was a little bit iffy against Wolves Keyes also gets a run out uh, he needs to play more let's go now it's for real the tactics and squad strengths have all been analyzed by committed fans and neutral observers Find out how it unfolds right here on EA TV. Look at the Allianz Arena, which is not the real Allianz Arena, but I think I selected a stadium which looks the more, the most uh, like Bayern Munich Stadium, and I also renamed it Allianz Arena. So the, it feels a little bit more authentic, and this will be our biggest test. I'm really looking forward to it. We need to bounce back after the defeat. The Philip Lahm Tifo is out. Oh, Leroy Sané is in the box. Keeper, nice. Good catch, Alisson. Oh my goodness, Alfonso Davis is in. And he's so strong, I can't shake him. No. Ooh, Alisson, good catch. Kiesa. And Salah! chance how do you not hit the target no Salah come on that was our best chance oh my goodness what a pass by Musiala but Harry Kane is not a winger Davis that's comfortable for Alisson as long as we restrict Bayern please Jota Kiesa Oh, Neuer, brilliant attack. Ah, oh, that sh again should have been 1-0. Could be a chance to win the game here. No. Kane. Harry Kane, great block. Endo. Elliot. New Year's. Oh. E that's a bad foul. That what? That's not a red card, referee! What are you talking about? It was a late challenge, but that's not a red card. I barely clicked his ankle. My goodness, a red card for that. Arneslot is furious on the touchline, and rightfully so. That Please, Salah! Oh, what a chance! We defended really resolutely and we got a valuable point. Away to Bayern is one of the toughest games of the season. And I think we 
we actually held our own. We had four shots more than Bayern, created 0.9 XG. The red card is the only downside, but in the end, I think in the second half, we were much the better team and we really grew into the game. I, I don't think Chiesa's red card was warranted. Uh, Manuel Neuer was the man of the match. I think that says it all if the opposition goalkeeper is the man of the match, but this is a very good point in the Champions League. So there are a quite a lot of teams who have already won both their Champions League games. PSG Dortmund ended in a near near draw, but yeah, most of the big teams won. Man City couldn't beat uh, Stuttgart, which is a big surprise. And uh, yeah, Benfica beating Atletico Madrid is also a big surprise. We are in a good position in 14th place and so far we kept two clean sheets in our two Champions League games Real Madrid, Barcelona, Inter have all won their games and at the moment there are no like really big teams apart from Dortmund who looks to be relegated and not going through to the next stage and Kaya Wurtz is the top scorer of the Champions League now that's a big surprise of course we don't have a lot of uh, players uh, on this chart but Alisson is one of several goalkeepers who kept two clean sheets, which I think we can be proud of. So after losing our unbeaten streak in the Premier League, this is an absolute must-win game. Crystal Palace have a five at the back formation. And Crystal Palace have some new signings and I'm going with my strongest possible lineup. Konate is very tired, so except Konate, we are playing with our best lineup. Sobosla is still out injured. Let's get back to winning ways in the Premier League. Two teams heading for what's sure to grab the interest of football fans around the world. Total coverage coming up next on EA TV. Welcome to Selhurst Park and this is now a really high pressure game. We only have, I think, uh, three wins from six games and the biggest disappointment is we only scored six goals in six games. So scoring one goal on average is really bad. We need to improve on that. Free kick opportunity, but Alisson comfortably saves is it. No, there is no way. Eze on, is on side. Alisson, oh man. Salah. Trent. And Nunez, his shot is saved. The angle was really tight. McAllister. Salah. Nunez! Unreal save by Anderson. That was a really good attack. Please, Salah. Salah! Another save by the keeper. Oh, that is a big chance. Salah gets taken out. Please, McAllister. I need this man. McAllister! Oh, Anderson saves it. Come on, McAllister. Nunez! Another save by Henderson! This is unbelievable! Mosala! Another save! Unreal! Please, McAllister! We need, we really need this corner! And Gakpo heads it wide! This gameplay is so man, so frustrating, so annoying. I just can't seem to score goals. And we dominated. We had 70% possession almost. 1.7 expected goals. 10 shots. Twice as many as Crystal Palace. The second half, it was all Liverpool. And I can't really fault the effort of the players. We should have scored. Dean Henderson had uh, the game of his life. And some of the shots were even in the corner. I don't think winning the title is a realistic aim but we absolutely have to finish in the top four we are only one point off fourth place but Arsenal won Man City won Tottenham won and Chelsea won as well but thankfully league leaders Man United dropped points so there is a new leader Chelsea and yeah keeping a lot of clean sheets is great but we need to start scoring goals and I will figure it out I just need to practice more and the biggest problem is apart from Mo Salah nobody else is scoring goals regularly I mean, Nunez scored two goals, which won us the game against Bournemouth, but Gakpo has no goals in the Premier League. And yeah, there is no goals for Luis Diaz, no goals for Jota. 
at least Trenox Arnold has two assists and Robertson has one as well, but at least the career mode is not boring, me winning every game, but yes, scoring only, scoring zero goals in the past three games, I don't think that has ever happened to me before. So this uh, FC25 gameplay is really kicking my butt <laughs> at the moment. But the next episode is huge, Chelsea Arsenal and AC Milan in between and Aston Villa in the, in the cup as well, really looking forward to it. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice day. See you later. Goodbye.